Hi, this is Karen Cubico, and today we're going to talk about interesting ways people have used their intuitive abilities when they remembered a past life. So there's lots of examples for that. I have a lot of people that actually come to me specifically to remember any blocks or patterns that are preventing them from using their intuitive abilities. But sometimes after we get through the blocks and do all that forgiveness work and everything super important, then it's always a good time to take someone to a past life where they've been an amazing intuitive being, whether they were a psychic, a healer, an oracle, a seer, whatever the name would be. Sometimes they just were so connected with all their intuitive abilities and you know they used it for whatever purpose. Sometimes it was for good, sometimes not so much. Today I'm going to talk about some fun ways people have tapped into their past life abilities and found out specifically how they could see psychic information for themselves or for somebody else, whether it's for healing or just for information. One of my favorite ones is when one of the people I was regressing into a past life remembered being a man and they had carved out the top of a stump. It was very specific. It was carved down about maybe two inches. It was very flat, very level, and it had like a lip on it and he filled it with water. And he would just look into it kind of like a looking glass in order to see information for someone. Sometimes people call that scrying. Another word that people use for looking into something kind of like into the distance, into something, or into some kind of vessel of some kind, or even how in movies and things like that, people are using one of these, kind of like a looking glass. Sometimes in movies, they show people looking into like a magic ball. Yeah, I think it's a magic ball. In order to get information for a psychic reason, or if they're a gypsy or something like that, normally they show it like that, or some kind of traveling seer. Even in The Wizard of Oz, the gentleman that Dorothy goes to see is looking into one of these. This is just a fake prop, but it's kind of fun, right? When someone looks into something or through something, whatever it is that they're looking at, if they're psychic, people call that scrying. I've seen people just use dishes of water. It helps you focus on the energy of whatever it is that you're seeing with your mind's eye. And so scrying is a word that is often used for that. Some other ways people have remembered past lives where they were using their intuitive abilities and the specific skill that they had at that time and how they were able to access that psychic scene or visions or whatever was coming to them. Sometimes people use tea leaves, teacups, maybe the herbs that they collected for someone that then they had to drink in order to get some type of healing, but then that same person would then provide a reading to them by looking into the cup and seeing how they lay. There is still a whole lot of people that are doing that type of thing where they're looking at tea leaves in a cup and trying to figure out or getting information from the way those, those tea leaves are left behind. Even coffee, I think it's turkey, where if you have a family member who was very good at that type of thing, they would look at coffee grounds that were left behind. Their coffee is super um, dense and it would leave a residue behind. So that would be a way to like get some kind of psychic information. And if you'd like to learn more about metaphysical topics and anything about past lives, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and leave me a comment so that I can make a future video about what you'd like to know. I've had people who remembered telling the people who would come to them, their clients, to bring a rock, a stick, a leaf, something on their travels to come to see them. They had to pick and choose something very specific for them. And then when they would get there, they would present it to this person. When she remembered this lifetime, it was that object would be what she would use in order to provide the information on whatever psychic information that person wanted. So that was kind of interesting. 
I just recently regressed somebody and they had a cup that they would scoop out seawater along with sand and dirt and rocks and whatever else would be floating around in there and then take a look at that and however it was swirling, however it was laying in the cup or settling, all of that meant something and all of that became part of the reading that this person would provide. It was very interesting. I had someone else that remembered a lifetime and this one, if I remember correctly, was in Egypt and they had a special table. It was definitely in some kind of sacred space, but they had a table. Seems like it wasn't too big, but it was tall because they were standing there and they had the four elements. So they had a lit candle, they had fire and they had crystals and water that was in the copper vessel. They had a little pile of sand or dirt. So earth, it was just a little teeny little bit of all those things. And so with all that there on their table, then they would then kind of tune in psychically to get the information on whatever they were being asked, whatever that might be. It actually felt like it was their job, if I remember correctly, when they were describing what was occurring in their past life memory. That was really kind of neat, actually. I had somebody else and they would have someone come to them for a reading. They lived, feels like more near a deserty kind of place because there was a lot of sand around and they would have the person sit in front of them on this sandy area, desert like area. And then this person described them picking up the sand and letting it fall through their fingers. As that fell onto the ground and through their fingers, then they would hear messages or see messages. And that's how they would tune in and provide the information. So that was kind of cool. I only had that one person talk to me about that. Lots of people used like herbs and things, a lot of herbs. A lot of people had abilities to collect stones, collect herbs and dry them out and definitely intuitively know which one of these herbs that would be the most beneficial to somebody, especially if they were doing like a healing tincture or tea or something like that. So that was definitely used in healing. On occasion, they would use that then afterwards for some kind of reading for that person, maybe the root cause of that sickness, even like evil eye type of stuff, that type of thing would come to them on how to go about where that came from and how to go about healing that away. I had someone else that remembered a past life and they would actually make a fire and all the coals and embers left behind in the fire would be part of the reading in a sense. The way it was described to me is that they would have a fire, it would burn down, they would talk to this other person and it feels like they had to bring something and they'd burn it on the embers and however that burned and however that left a mark, if you will, on the otherwise almost kind of done fire, that would be how they would tune in and provide that reading to someone. So that was really kind of neat. There's so many ways you can get psychic information. These types of things aren't currently taught, as far as I know, here in this common day. But when people are remembering their past lives and remembering these talents and skills, they're bringing those memories forward into this current experience. It's almost like they're reclaiming their skills from other lifetimes and being shown very specifically and being shown physically so they can see it, but also shown sort of in a memory type of way of inner knowledge and a reclamation of that inner knowledge of what they used to know in other lifetimes so that maybe they could try that again in this current life, which is always super cool. So if you'd like to remember a past life, Stay to the end. I have a link to help you remember a past life. Lots of love and light to you.